Now, when opening this one, I uh, came up to an error. I didn't see there was something different on here, so this is the only one that I couldn't do. Um, I tried downloading it several times and still couldn't get it. So I'm just going to go to another one. And I did a previous vi tutorial on how to uh, do this part. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get all of them, copy two, and going to put it into a folder under sound. And I went ahead and just did it by chapter. So then we're going to do chapter 20, part two, enter, and then click OK. Just double checking it's in the same folder, click OK. And now going to get into the other program. Going to open it up. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to be looking for uh, the actual audio files. I'm going to go to desktop, sound, and then part two, I mean that folder. So I'm just going to highlight them all and click and drag into the actual program. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Um, I'm just going to click OK several times. I could have uh, checked the box where it says don't show me this message again, but I just went ahead and clicked OK. Now on this particular one, it has 10 audio files. So it's very important to realize how many you have because again it might uh, put that number 10 right under the number 1 and sure enough it did it here so you don't want to click the actual name 10 you want to click below it you can click it and drag it and now I'm just going to double check that they're all in order okay, you got 1, 2, 3, 4 Five, six, seven, yeah, they're all in order now. And now what I'm going to do is i got to move them. You're going to click on that little uh, slider deal, and that's going to actually select them. And as you're clicking and dragging, uh, the you'll see a, a, a yellow line come up. And that just means that that's the end of the, uh, the audio file. That way they, they kind of match up. I'm just dragging them all. Now there's an easier way to do this. If you click on the minus, it'll reduce the uh, the, the viewing uh, screen. And that way uh, you can just do it just a little bit faster. And right now I'm looking for the minus to zoom out. And here it is. So you click that a few times and it'll zoom out and it's a little easier to to move all the files especially if you have a lot of them so just moving them till the yellow line comes out okay they all look good so now i'm going to go to file export and i want to put it in the correct folder i don't remember what chapter this one was. I think it was chapter 20. Just going to double check. Okay. Chapter 20, part 2. So I'm going to go back to file, export. Going to go up. Chapter 20, part 2. And then I'm going to name it chapter 20, part 2. So this will be the entire file. Click save. And then here I'm just going to hit OK. And this is telling you it's going to merge them all into one file. And that's exactly what we want. And then again, you just wait a few seconds. And then it should be done. OK. Now I'm going to go to File, New, File, Import, Audio. I'm going to get the audio we just did. We're going to take it one step further. So now I'm opening up the uh, chapter 20, part 2. 
And what I want to do is I want to reduce the background noise. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the zoom in button a few times. And I have to select uh, some of the, the, the noise. So I'm going to play it right now. And I hear that there's noise. So I'm going to click and drag. And you want to get at least two seconds. That's a good range. Then you're going to go to noise removal. Get noise uh, remove profile. You're going to click in the file again. And now go back and hit OK. Give it a few seconds and you're going to see that the noise area is going to be reduced. And you can see the line there. And now it's a really small line. So now when you play it, you can't hear this part. But when you play it, there's absolutely no sound. And the rest of the audio is really, really good because there's no, uh, that noise has been reduced. So now file, export, and I'm going to leave it the same name because I don't want that other one. I'm going to click save. Yes, I want to replace it. And then click OK. Give it a few seconds and it'll work. And right now I'm doing a voiceover because the program I have to record, it doesn't uh, take out the, the noise. So that's what I'm doing with this one too. So it's a little cleaner.